Over here! with this!
someone there. Scraps and rags left for the rats. Ugh, hard stone. The stench is ripe. You! How dare you! Crowland's throne belongs only to the one true king of Briars. This throne of Mach and Manure. I suppose that makes you the Lord of Shitsby. How dare you insult the brave and valorous soldiers of... Of Shitsby, yes. I know your type. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper! The falls, the thrall of an absent king, pitiful. Mm, I feel great. Traders all in Dira. Now we crawl about for the scraps. Whatever crumbs you leave behind after your raids. You wish you were a raider, a dringer. Yes. Farewell, sword cloven.
Layla, how are you holding up? Not bad, actually. These anomalies feel second nature now. Any ghosting effects? Double identity syndrome? Occipital shock signs? Hey, you trying to freak me out? My god, just let me work. Closing in on another one. Sorry to freak you out earlier. It's just, the animus can be dangerous. Prolonged exposure is hard on a brain. I know. I just... I want to finish this. Yes, definitely. Jump out whenever you feel worn down. I got the data. Here it comes.
hold into the brush, <laughs> have you? Guards here are vigilant.
Look what they have done to it. We should stop coming here, Skeki. It only saddens you and angers me. Yes. Uh, yes, you are right. Then let's go and never come back. Just a moment longer. Best not to draw attention here. You're looking to set foot in there. I would not advise it. In my youth, I could. Both of us could. We would not think twice about taking back what is ours. You lived here. It was a fishing village once. Built it with our bare hands. All of it. But bandits drove us out the moment they saw how plentiful the waters were. The fish here are not shy, and they are difficult to sate. You make it hard to resist. I may have to see for myself. It will not be easy. Why not take my wife with you? Stickler would love to raise hell against these dogs. What would it serve? Only a matter of time before more roving bandits catch a whiff of this place. We know. Such is the case in all of Lincolnshire. But it would be a small victory. A chance to dip our feet for a while. All right. I'll take her. Always good to rekindle the flame. On me, Stigler. We will wet your blade with their bones. It is long overdue. Fight with great passion, Stickler! Difficult to sate. I like it. <laughs> you fight with great passion, Stickler. Wait 
Damn it. That is all of them. Skeki will be thrilled. Let us go to him. I am impressed. Stigla is a stout fighter. Worthy enough to raid with the best Rengir. It may be what she's destined for. You honor her. And believe me, I have tried. But she is stubborn. Insists on looking after this old and frail hound. When you die, have her seek me out. <laughs> you jest, but I shall take you up on it. Until then. Happened. Were you bit? Oh yes, snake bit, just like you. Attack! Our brothers and sisters have chosen the very soil of this sacred land. No more. You're going back north where you belong. We will rid England of your kind for good. My thanks for your contribution.
cinema. Playoffs of the Wastewater! You've been near.
must be careful now. I've told you my name is not Hoonwald, it's Roderick! And I've told you to shut your flappers! Aid me, oh lord! <sighs> Be gone! This prisoner comes with me! Seems there's a bounty out on Hunwald. Oh, he's ruffled some feathers, that much is clear. Do you know him? I do. Then the Lord truly is watching over me. Right place, right time. Thanks for saving my neck, stranger. I pray I can return the favor someday.
I found him asleep beneath a tree. He's unharmed. My poor Bjarti. I'm so glad he's all right. You saved his life. Luck was with him. No hungry wolves or roaming bandits. The note he carries is helpful, but he must have more caution. He may not be so lucky the next time. You're right. I will wait until he wakes. And when he does, I will belt him. That is a start. Farewell. I was filled with worry. I can breathe again. You're all right. Think you can swell with the bus? To end this chaos beast.
Henning. should be cautious around here. Those are the cries of a broken heart, who died. 
my beloved cat, Sphinxy. And please do not be so crass. Sphinxy has simply passed on. She is in God's hands. Nothing hurts quite like a fresh wound, but in time it will heal, and life will return to normal. Oh, if only. Instead, I find myself missing her more and more with each passing winter. How long ago did Sphinxy pass on? Eleven years ago tomorrow. <laughs> a long time, I know. <laughs> a little. Have you thought about honoring Sphinxy with a shrine? It is no burial, but it may ease your grief. I am halfway there, but I cannot bring myself to sort through her things. I simply do not have the strength. You alone must find the strength, lest you spend the next decade as you are now. True words. I shall try. <laughs> Still mourning, hmm? What else can I do? I do not have it in me to fetch what remains of my poor Sphinxy. Her shrine will forever be incomplete. I will help you. We will build Sphinxy a shrine together. Where should I start? My home. It's where she... She? <laughs> there must be something I can find in here for the cat shrine. If I can sort through all the rubble. I will add this to the shrine. This will do. I have found some of Sphinxy's belongings. Shrine just over there beneath that shrub. It is done. A shrine dedicated to Sphinxy. Whenever you care to pay your respects, and a home you can return to again. It may take some getting used to without Sphinxy, but her children need you. And here I thought all Danes were ruthless plunderers. Murderers! You have a soul that would grace the heavens. Light my Sphinxy. Lord, light your way. Smells like a trap. <coughs> 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 Here, vigilant. 
Eva, wake up, you fool! Out cold. Keep right here. You can tell. Stay on your guard. You two again. Bent over the barrel of another adventure, I see. This is his fault. I told him they looked like bandits, but he insisted on cheating them out of coin. We need to leave. Some of them went to fetch firewood. They will be back any moment. There's no we in this. Your brother, your problem. What? No, please. Look at him. He is dead weight. Dead weight soon. You should hurry. If I have to carry him, we will never make it out of here alive. Please! Your brother is lucky I like you. There may not be much between your ears, but you're not the problem here. Thank you? This way! Think again, Saxon filth. There is no besting these sons of Ragnar. Soon the world will know us by name. A sleep talker. Just what I needed. See this? Do you see it? This blade was forged by Grundle. Grundle Thundersmith. Greatest of all blacksmiths. One nick? And your life essence will shoot out of you like a gazer from the depths of Norway. You laugh. Am I a joke to you? Do I look like a jester? That is what I thought. You will think again before laughing behind my back. No one laughs at me. No one. Cast him aside when this is done. For your sake. This is far enough. You can put him down. There they are! After them! Why, you look like fire! Stay close to me. Ah, come on, food's getting cold. Thank ya. This is where we part ways. Yes. My... my thanks. Thank you. Stop thanking me and listen closely. This life does not suit you. There are people out there who would kill you over these petty squabbles. This I have realized. If your idiot brother hatches another one of his glory-seeking plans, take your fist and slam it right between his eyes. Or better yet, punch him in his cock. He will listen. Punch his cock. Yes. That should get the point across. Thank you. Uh, you will never see us again. Good. What? 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 What is? Ah, we made away with the coin, didn't we? Poor fools never suspected us, but we're more clever than we look, eh? Where are you going, brother? You must tell the details of this great victory! I am going home!
want to die, thief! Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun. Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Eivor. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse defaced, the scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Guthrun disposed of something, and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Guthron are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear Skald? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger... You have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Secret, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 
Thirty times? Surely you jest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law, whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> Let this blonde our friendship. I did not mean for this to escalate. No, I understand. You were well within your rights. Greetings. Sigurd. Leave me be. If you wish it. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a sight you have seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late... In the meantime, we press on. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire, and he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. 